What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. What I have for you today is a Minecraft 1.8 mod which highlights syntax in commands that you either type in the chat or put inside of a command block. Let's get right to it. Let's say I want to summon a zombie with a custom name and some equipment. It's very easy to mess up with all of the MBT stuff, so this tool will give you some help. You see, now that I opened this bracket, it's underlined gray because the syntax is invalid. But if I now add custom name bill, for example, and close the bracket, um, both of these are colored red because they are matching. This indicates that the command works. However, if I forget this one, you say, uh, you, you see, um, it tells me that the brackets are unbalanced and you can already see that when typing the command um, Yeah, because the bracket is underlined gray Okay, let's simply close that and add some more to it. For example some equipment And Yeah, let's just give it an ID Minecraft wooden sword and you see it's highlighted in a slightly lighter orange than the first string and the second curly brackets are slightly darker than the first ones. This is simply so you can distinguish between these and let's give it a damage value. You see, um, once I put the B behind the one, um, both of these turned green. This is because um, when typing B after a number in commands, it will indicate that the given number is a byte. However, if I exceed the maximum size of a byte, so it's not a valid byte, it's going to be tinted red. Same for um, decimal point numbers, of course. However, if I make it float now, you see it's going to be uh, correct again. If you do not um, put any uh, indicator behind it, it's, ju it's just going to stay white. So. Let's give it a damage value. See, he got that wooden sword. And, oh, that's a lot of monsters we have around here. And, yeah, so this mod helps you finding mistakes which you made in your command block syntax. For example, if I open, like, another uh, bracket here, you see um, this bracket is going to be the closing bracket for the one which I just created, but the other ones are going to have no match. So these are being highlighted and you can simply go ahead and fix that. So this is a pretty great help for all of the uh, map makers out there. You see, if I do not close the quotation marks, it's going to highlight them gray as well, etc, etc. So let's just have a bit of a more advanced example. Here I have a simple execute command which has a selector and you see um, the different arguments in the selector are uh, tinted in a different color as well and here we have the um, these brackets selected as well and marked and if we go to the actual summon command you see um, all of that stuff is highlighted just as we want it to be. If I were to, for example, move this one, see it's going to uh, show me that this part is going to be um, highlighted as a string and this tells the map maker that uh, something is wrong. If, for example, I forget this one, you see um, the whole thing is simply going to be a bit messed up and yeah, this is pretty nice because if everything is colored, nothing is underlined, you see, um, yeah, everything is simply fine. This mod runs on Forge 1.8. You see it's the comment syntax highlighter. The original idea for this mod comes from a guy called HeadX. The link to his Twitch account is, of course, in the video description. He um, streams a lot and he makes pretty nice videos. So make sure to check him out. And to install this mod, simply download the jar file from the Minecraft forum page, which I am linking in the video description, and drag it in the mods folder if you have Forge installed. This is everything to it. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye!